How many of you are happy to be today? This is the beginning of the Yom Kippur. Amen. And uh, haven't planned it that way. This is amazing. Glory to God. Yes. God is so good. You know, like, um, wanted to keep this conference for this Rosh Hashanah, which is the beginning of the head of the month. But uh, it happened that today is the Yom Kippur beginning. And that is, uh, I did not really check and kept this, but it really aligned to the prophetic timeline. How many of you are excited that God is so good that He He's going to do amazing things tonight? <laughs> Hallelujah. It, it is a short notice meeting, but still it's amazing to see the family of God, people of God, beloved of God, everyone came and uh, it is wonderful. You know, just last week God spoke to me and He told, uh, um, Many, many times, like majority of the people, 80% of the people use their phone for reading the Bible. There's nothing wrong in reading the Bible in the phone. I do that all the time. But God told me that you also need to buy a Bible. I mean, I do have a Bible, but uh, God told me, get a brand new Bible, get a brand new Bible. And, and just I got one Bible, Just I just uh, went to the store and got it. Um, and it's really a prophetic, I, I should have shared with everyone because um, there are a lot of friends in Florida, they don't have power supply for the last two, three days. And yeah. some of them even, they are like not, they don't want to use their phone. They want to keep it for the calls. If they want to read the Bible, they are going back to their uh, paper book. Yeah. So it's really amazing that just a week back I got this one. And um, anyway, so I think um, it's a reminder. I think I just wanted to start with that because uh, when God tells you to do something and if you think it is going to bless the body of Christ, share with others, that will be a blessing. God prepares us so that like um, you will be always victorious. God wants you to be victorious. How many of you believe that God wants you to succeed in life? Amen. He wants you to be empowered. He wants you to succeed. He, he wants to prepare. That's why Jesus told, I'm saying all these things so that you don't really you know, like uh, stumble or you don't really um, worry. Like uh, Jesus told all the things that's going to happen so that the disciple, disciples, they will be like very deeply rooted. They will be unshakable. They will be like, they know exactly what's going on. While, while others will be like very, very much afraid of every rumors and rumors of war and everything. But the disciples, Jesus he equipped them to be ready for something glorious, something greater, something mighty, something marvelous. That is our God. And this is so important. I wanted to really share like Yom Kippur, the priest every year, they bring the sacrifice. In the sacrifice, there are two sacrifices they bring in. And then one, they sacrifice to the Lord. And then the another goat, they let that to go in the wilderness. That's called as the scapegoat. So the first, they sacrifice and the high priest, they take the blood of the lamb, the goat, the lamb and then bring it to the altar and then pour the blood. Because Bible says that without the shedding of the blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. So for the sins of the whole Israel and also for the priest's sins, so he bring the blood in a plate and then he pour it out into the temple of God, especially in the most holy place where there is the Ark of the Covenant and there is a mercy seat so Jerusalem is the center of the world and then we see that the temple is the center of Jerusalem and then the holy place is the center of the temple and then the most holy place is the center of the holy place and then in the most holy place we see that the Ark of the Covenant is the center of the most holy place and then in the center of the tabernacle and uh, the Ark of the Covenant the mercy seat is the center of all. So God always la likes the circle. That's why you see the, um, the earth and then there is a circle. God kept sun, which is a 
prophetic representation of Jesus. Obviously, some um, people they worship sun, but we worship only one S O N, that is Jesus. But it's a prophetic. That is a you know like cycle. Prophetic is a cycle, and that's why we see that God kept this world, and then Israel, and then temple, and then like uh, holy place, most holy place, and then like the tabernacle. In the tabernacle, and there is an amazing mercy seat. So the priest will come and pour the blood in the mercy seat so that the wrath of God upon the nation Israel and upon the priest is completely dealt with or forgiven, cleansed. They do that year after year. Year after year they do that. And time after time and continually they do that. So until the day when Jesus died on the cross, they could not do that anymore. Because the, the big curtain that really closes the most holy place, holy place is ripped open. It's kind of completely God opened the way for all the people to come in. It is recorded in the Jewish historian's book that they have recorded that this literally happened. This whole... Um, thick curtain which is really very very heavy it was torn from top to bottom if it is torn from bottom to top then it might be a work of the man but when the curtain is really coming from top to bottom no one can climb up it is so tall several feet yeah. it is God who really made that to be open and also there is a menorah in the temple that is the important assignment of the priest to make sure that they constantly pour the the first oil press to keep the menorah burning and also God always keeps this menorah burning. It never turn off. But it is recorded in the Jewish Talmud that this light started to turn off on the day when Jesus died. Because he wanted to release that light to all of us. See, there are several things recorded that Jewish um, books that they cannot be able to understand. But now, by comparing what happened, many got into salvation. I'm talking about Israelites. Today, 2024. And it's amazing to see that this menorah should be lit and always burn on, but it really burned out because we become the light of God. And that is amazing. And most importantly, the sacrifices they could not do because Jesus became the perfect sacrifice. Jesus told that this temple will be destroyed and exactly that happened. Jesus told everything recorded in both Christian books and Jewish books and both happened. It matches and it is amazing to see the evidence is so clear and this is the Yom Kippur where the priest will lay hands on, the, on this sacrifice and then pass the sins of the world upon this sacrifice and cut these sacrifice and get the blood so that the sins may be forgiven. And today, how many of you know that Jesus died once and for all Amen. for you? By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. And tonight, God is going to heal you from every wound, every layers of wound, every scars and every things that the enemy has constantly did against you or on you. The Lord is going to completely heal you. How many of you believe your past is going to be dealt with? No more your past failures, your past, you know, like a sin or past failures, trauma, past rejection, past hurt, past wound, past losses. Yes. It's all going to be healed today Amen. because of what Jesus did on the cross. That is the finished work of Jesus on the cross. It is so important to hold on to the finished work of Jesus. As many who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. As many, not everyone. But if you call, you will be seeing this salvation. Salvation is a broad word. It is not just like getting saved and go to heaven. But every day as you call upon the name of the Lord, there is going to be deliverance and breakthrough and powerful victory in Jesus' name. How many of you believe that? God is going to do amazing things. You know, I prepared to have this conference in a different location that we used to have. But the place was full. The place, I mean, there is a, there is, it's not available in other words. So I had to change this in the last minute to this, not last minute, like 
in recently to this place but this is what god told when one door closes i will open an another door for you you are not stuck and you are not called to cancel you are called to move forward with the new door so god wants you to know if you might have seen some doors slammed at your face but god is saying this today don't worry i have something better and best this is i mean like 240 people can sit here but that place that we met last time is look i mean like this place is amazing god always gives you the best god always gives you the best for his glory Amen. and he always wants to bring forth a powerful breakthrough in your life every losses are going to be restored Amen. Amen. because jesus died on the cross on that day the loss was to redeem you and me today yes. so that you and me don't have to go through the loss because god wants to redeem all of us through his son one sacrifice and today the lord is going to redeem you he's going to rekindle the joy and fire in you he's going to rekindle the anointing in you the purpose of god is going to be fulfilled in your life the lord is going to make the enemies pay for you how many of you believe god will make your enemies to pay for you and that's what exactly happened in the life of moses moses mom was afraid that he that what might happen to moses but god made the enemies to pay for moses today the lord says my son my daughter i'm going to make your enemies to pay for you and instead of moses living in a hiding place god made him to live in the palace and today god is going to take you to the high places you are going to be elevated high and the lord is going to bring a victory and breakthrough and every losses that you have been through god is going to restore and give you seven times i strongly believe god is going to restore the losses in the seven times seven measures bible says that when the enemy is caught stealing he has to pay back seven times and i strongly believe this is the payback time how many of you believe this is the payback time this is the time where god is going to make the enemies to pay for what the enemy has done this is so important the lord told me to tell you be bold and confident and be courageous don't be afraid because god wants you to be bold and confident your confidence needs to be uplifted boosted and today the lord wants you to be more than a conqueror in christ jesus he doesn't want you to be shaken he doesn't want you be up to be afraid he doesn't want you to be you know like worried about anything because god is going to do a new thing in your life how many of you believe that the lord is going to bring a new thing in your life how many of you believe i strongly believe god is going to bring a new thing he is going to do a new thing in your life a new beginning in your life he is going to shake your wilderness he is going to dismantle every arrows of the enemies god is going to make you to take the spoils of the enemies and he is going to prosper you and multiply you there is a passage where bible says that god told the israelites to go and the weapons of the enemies came to israelites and today the weapons of the enemy will come to you the resources of the enemies will come to you and every patterns of the enemy you will rebuke and overcome amen and you know like i shared yesterday that um all the weapons that the enemies of israel was hiding is they could able to capture the weapons without being destroyed wow they they accumulated for 10 years several millions of dollars of worth of weapons were caught and then brought to the israel's territory the point that this is like jeremiah and many other passages got told i will make you to take the spoils of the wars and i'm going to make you to take the enemy's weapons and you will dismantle the enemy the enemy is trying to dismantle you but god is calling you to dismantle the enemy this is the time where you are called to dismantle every plans of the enemy the lord wants you to walk victoriously he will heal you he will give a powerful encounter to you how many of you believe that the lord is going to break and i heard the lord say i the lord will give the power to produce wealth that is the promise that the lord gave for this rosh hashana or this yam kippur that the lord is giving you the power to overcome he is giving you the power to raise up so in in florida they need power 
couple of days there is no power i was speaking to uh, one family they told um, that uh, the children told that our uh, mom's home has the power and that home did not have a power so these the sons and the daughters they were all going to the mom's home because there is power in one home so it's amazing to see that when one door closes god is opening another door yeah. but the point is everyone needs power power oh, yeah. is coming upon you today how many of you believe that the lord is going to give you the power his power is going to make you to overcome his power is going to make you to be more than a conqueror his power is what the israelites i mean the disciples they were waiting the power jesus told tarry wait until you receive the power Amen. then you will be you will be my testimonies you will be my witness jesus said mm-hmm. judea samaria uttermost part of the earth how many of you believe god has called you for greatness Amen. god has called you to shine in the darkness when the darkness is more then the power of god can able to manifest all the more how many of you believe that yes, yes. you know like a couple of days back there was a huge power electromagnetic power was emitted from the sun two days back that made people in florida people in many place to see the northern lights it's because there was a power was emitted It never happened in a very very long time i don't even know in when was the last time it happened where people in pensacola or other places they could able to see this northern lights just unbelievable so there is a power that was released and god told this is a prophetic power that i am releasing upon this nation and upon your life god is going to release this power upon your life today how many of you believe because god's power alone can able to make you to live an overcoming life amen when i say overcoming overcoming in every aspects of your life and i strongly believe god is going to end your wilderness today he is going to bring a deep healing divine healing divine restoration and he is going to make you to forget all the past failures past rejection past um burdens that you carried and past shame past um all the losses that you have been through all the financial losses and loss a loss of your loved ones the lord is going to re- restore and redeem your times and season there's a tribe called issachar and they always discern the times and season that's issachar how many of you know that the issachar anointing is released upon us today Amen. we are the issachars today because god wants you to discern the times and season and plan accordingly he wants to discern he wants you to have this unction of this issachar anointing So this is like our anointing is going to give you clarity concerning the life crucial decisions that you are going to make. Today the Lord told me many of you here sitting here you are going to make some life crucial decisions it is going to change the course of direction in your life once and for all. How many of you believe? How many of you want God's will to manifest in your life? How many of you want God's purpose to manifest in your life? Is the car anointing is the way we isakar operated in the seer anointing they can see the unseen mm-hmm. they can able to see what is the what is what is what is coming and they can able to prepare they can plan and god is releasing this today to the body of christ the seer anointing is coming upon you and god wants everyone to see through your spiritual eyes because the bible clearly says we walk, we walk not by sight but by faith that is also a part of the seer anointing the lord wants you to walk by faith and today the lord is going to break everything that is hindering you blocking you and god is going to make you to walk and reach the finish line how many of you believe that the lord is going to cut off every pulling every strings and everything that is stopping you hindering you blocking you to move forward God wants you to be unstoppable, unbreakable, unshakable, unbeatable. He wants you to press on, move forward. He wants you to reach the destiny. He is going to do that today. And he is going to fulfill the assignment God told as you start this Yom Kippur, as you start this amazing Rosh Hashanah, this head of the month, the Lord says, I'm going to make you to finish the assignment. How many of you believe God has assignment for everyone sitting here? Everyone has an assignment. Everyone has a purpose. everyone has a destiny everyone has a unique mantle everyone has a unique clarity and the purpose of god and as you came today the lord says that as you are listening the lord says i will give you power 
to complete your assignment. You know, like long back, God told one day, get ready with the pen and paper and I'm going to give you the daily plans that you need to walk in. The Lord wants you to press on. It's so important. It's so important. And God wanted me to tell you this one thing and I'm going to prophesy over you. There was a person that is Ruth. She lost everyone. She lost her husband. She lost her children. She lost, there is no phone calls she can make to her mom or dad who is in Moab. She's a Moabite. She cannot make phone calls. She cannot able to get anyone to comfort her. And her mother-in-law lost both sons and lost her husband, lost grandchildren, lost everything, literally. But one thing they did, they decided, I'm going to fix my eyes on the God who is the maker of Amen. heaven and earth. Amen. They decided we are going to fix, Bible says, fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. God wants you to forget your past. God is going to heal you today. Every traumatic past is going to be healed by the presence of Jesus. Holy Spirit can able to transform you. One thing I can do, Paul says, I can forget the past. I will look forward. I will press on. I will run the race. I will finish the race. On the last day, Paul said, I ran the good race. I finished the race. It's amazing to see. God wants you to know he's going to bring a new chance, a new beginning, a new birth. That's what Ruth, in that generation, Ruth lost her husband and children and everyone. But she told, your God is my God, your people, my people. God sees your heart. God sees your dedication. God sees what you are up to. And God loves you. That is the reason why he leads you to commit your life to God. By for only one thing you need to do. You need to forget the past because you have a new assignment given from God to each one of you here. I see the bundle of assignment coming when several years back God told, when I lost my dad, God told, I was not even able to travel due to certain restrictions and limitations. I could not travel. But God told, get ready with the pen and paper. I'm going to heal you and I'm going to deliver you and get ready. I, the Lord, will give you a daily purpose, destiny and assignment and, and look unto me. It was in 2000. Love it. So, same like what we see in the life of Ruth. She lost everyone, but then God brought a change. God brought a new city. God brought her to a new state. God brought her to a new country. God brought her to a new family. God brought her to a new situation, new location. And everything was changing, a new home. And God settled Ruth's life. God settled Ruth with Boaz. In that generation, Jesus was born. Jesus was born in that generation. Over then, on and on and on, we see, finally, we see Jesus was born. Ruth became a great grandmother in the Jesus genealogy, which is impossible. If she did not convert her pain into God, pain towards God, God, I have a pain in the past, but I'm going to convert that by fixing my eyes on you, if she did not done that, she would have probably not be able to move forward in life. But the only one thing, Paul said, one thing I do, I forget the past and I, I press on because God has a greater calling. God has a greater purpose. And it is, again, God knows your heart. He knows your pain. He doesn't really say, okay, now, no, he no, he gives you time. He changes seasons. He brings you an amazing restoration and redemption. Today the Lord told me, He's going to heal you. How many of you believe? God is going to heal you. He's going to restore you. Yes, the Lord is going to heal. Hallelujah. Heal her. Hallelujah. Who lost someone. The Lord is going to redeem her times and season. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is going to heal many here who lost their loved one. This is the time of restoration. How many of you believe that? 
this is the time of restoration this is the time where god is going to redeem your wasted years the years that the enemy has been eating all the years that the enemy has stolen from you will be given back to you seven measures seven fold how many of you believe there are many here you lost certain things you lost relationship or you lost your loved one you lost a job you lost certain finances you lost certain things the lord says today if there is one word you are taking home god is going to restore you seven times how many of you believe a seven times of restoration how many of you believe just lift your hands up god is going to restore you seven times in a new way this is going to happen yes just lift your hands up god is going to restore your life and your future seven times thank you jesus thank you father we praise you jesus oh we glorify your name of oh father god thank you glorious king of kings and the lord of lords victorious jesus hallelujah i see that the lord is delivering people here hallelujah we're entering into this time of hallelujah prophetic encounter right now thank you jesus oh we praise you father we glorify your name we exalt your name jesus thank you father hallelujah thank you jesus thank you father you are amazing god hallelujah thank you father allow the lord to heal heal your heart hallelujah allow the lord to heal your mind hallelujah thank you jesus we praise you father hallelujah for the amazing glorious moon thank you jesus we praise you father hallelujah anyone who lifted up on the cross be cursed thank you jesus for jesus became cursed for you and today every curse is broken in your life how many of you believe that the curse pattern is going to be broken today mm-hmm. i was just standing out there and god told that tell my people that the curse pattern cannot continue in your life i broke the curse and the curse cannot able to touch you and the spirit of death cannot touch you anymore because the lord broke the curse today that we are celebrating as a yom kippur god is going to break every curse every spirit of death every darkness and every wicked schemes every wicked entry gates are broken shattered and every idols and every evil demonic strongholds are broken in the name of jesus god is going to reverse the curse in your life and he is going to bring you into a blessing cycle he is going to bring you into a blessing acceleration god keeps everything accelerated this whole earth is rotating although we are standing very stable the reason why we are standing is because the earth is rotating god wants his kingdom to be accelerated god wants to accelerate i see the power of god is completely coming upon each one of you like a river how when a dam is opened i see right now in the name of jesus in my spirit i see the dam the blessings dam the curse breaking dam is open dam is open god is really releasing this water from the dam thank you jesus Thank you Father God for releasing your water living water there is a river that comes from the throne room of God hallelujah wherever it flows there is healing the lord is healing right now this is a mass healing happening right now in the name of Jesus i see this river look so amazing it is bluish green it is so hallelujah it's a healing river i see that the lord says this is the healing river that i'm flowing through you tell my people that i'm flowing through you the lord says hallelujah the lord is going to flow through you cleanse you and completely cause you to overflow with joy right now i see that the joy of the lord is your strength the lord is giving you a joy uncontainable thank you jesus the enemy cannot hurt you anymore the lord says every guilt every condemnation is broken today you are not called to live in the condemnation there is no condemnation in christ jesus bible says today the lord says i see that the lord is breaking the condemnation like a glass like a glass condemnation meant to be broken and right now i see that the condemnation is broken every guilt is broken and every patterns of the enemy against your life is broken and shattered allow 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 the lord to completely heal you and deliver you today the lord is releasing this amazing river upon you river that brings prosperity the lord says as your soul prospers 
you will prosper in every areas of your life you will prosper in your finances you will prosper in your relationship you will prosper in your life you will prosper in your job you will prosper in your business because this river is flowing through you hallelujah the river of lord is flowing through you thank you jesus oh we praise you father thank you jesus what an amazing glory hallelujah this is the time where hallelujah thank you jesus for the sea of glass thank you jesus for your throne room hallelujah the lord says the heaven is open the angels are ascending and descending hallelujah god says you are a spiritual being even before you are a human being mm -hmm. god wants you to realize that god wants you to recognize your spirit really matters to god your soul really matters to god you are connected with heaven the lord is opening the windows the lord is opening the amazing heaven for you hallelujah the angels are around you the lord is going to accelerate you in his glory every day the lord says get ready with the pen and paper and i the lord will make you to walk in the assignment the enemy tried to stop your assignment but the lord says hallelujah two weeks two weeks from now there is going to be some this is a prophetic word for someone specific two weeks from now there is going to be a major breakthrough that i the lord will open in your life and you know when this happens you know this is for you but god wants us each one of you to have an expectant heart because prophecy is contagious and prophecy manifests powerfully when god told when the prophet told tomorrow by this time the economy of the nation change it did not affect just the king of the nation it affected everyone in israel today the lord says two weeks from now there is something amazing major open door will happen because god is launching you into a new elevation this conference is launch conference god is going to launch you into your purpose god is going to launch you into the destiny god is going to launch you into your family launch you in your marriage launch you in the business launch you in the ministry launch you in home launch you in the calling of god how many of you believe that hallelujah god is going to launch you into finances he will launch you with bringing you justice he will launch you by getting the vindication the lord is going to launch you he is going to make you to win every battles that you are facing today every battles that you are fighting today the battle is won the lord says i will launch you to get the gold i will launch you to get the gold medal in other words the lord is going to make you the victory god is going to give you the victory he is going to call your name as victor hallelujah your name is victor hallelujah you are a victorious one your name is victoria the lord is making you a victorious one thank you jesus today the lord is going to launch you into victory the enemy thought you are defeated the enemy thought you are completely scrambled the enemy thought you are broken shaken and the enemy thought you are in the downfall but god says i the lord will bring forth an amazing elevation in your life the enemy cannot win this is the battle between the evil and the good the lord says that the enemy will fall and you my people will arise and shine in the middle of the darkness hallelujah the light that is in you is brighter than the darkness that is trying to entangle around you the lord says the light the fire that is in you is more powerful than every fire that the enemy is trying to bring every false fire friendly fire are going to be burned in the fire of god that is given unto you thank you jesus thank you father we praise you jesus hallelujah thank you jesus thank you glorious jesus i see that the lord says miracle will come upon your life miracle will manifest in your life thank you jesus oh we praise you father hallelujah thank you jesus for launching some of you you're going to launch into a new job hallelujah today someone testified that you know like um in from california like few uh, few few weeks back i prophesied that god is opening a new job because that person was not having any job and today got an offer letter and the lord is going to launch you some of you are waiting and waiting for this the lord says i'm launching you to get your letter to get the offer letter to get your new beginning to get your new start thank you jesus oh we praise you father hallelujah thank you jesus some of you you are waiting for a settlement in your family 
to start a new beginning. The Lord says, I'm going to launch you with a new settlement. The Lord is opening the doors for some of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is going to launch you into his purpose and destiny. His grace is coming upon you. His favor is coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Greater wonders are going to happen. Mighty miracles are going to happen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the season of elevation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord says, Marlin, the Lord is with you. And the Lord says that every pain that you go through and every area where the enemy is trying to kill, steal and destroy, I will rebuild your life and no one can snatch the purpose and calling in your life. The Lord is going to establish you. You are a watered garden. The Lord is going to lift you up and build you up. Extraordinary wonders are going to happen in your life. Nothing by any means can hurt you or harm you. The Lord is shaking your wilderness. He's ending the trauma that you have been through. The Lord says that every stone spirit that is trying to come against you, Marlin, the Lord is breaking that today. Hallelujah. You thought it is gone. It is done with. But those stone spirit is trying to pursue you. But God says that you will be an overcomer. You cannot be drowned in the pain and the wound of the loss of your loved one. The Lord is rekindling the joy and purpose in you. He's starting a new beginning in your life. And you will see that spring forth. Hallelujah. The Lord says, my beloved daughter, your pain is real and your losses is real. Your loss is real. The Lord says, I will prosper you. Your soul prospers. You are for kingdom glory. But no one knows the pain you go through. But God says, my beloved daughter, I know the pain you go through. And I will rekindle the fire in you. And you will launch today in the purpose of God. You are launched in the purpose of God. Thank you, Jesus. I see several scars in your heart. The enemy put layers every year. The, the layers and layers of scars that the enemy put on you. But today I see that there's a mighty healing oil. I see that now this is not for just Marlin. This is for many here. I see that it's an amazing healing that is flowing through you. I see that the Lord is really, I see that the oil is really, you know, like flowing through every scar. And this, this oil, God says, it's the balm of Gilead. And I see that the Lord is really healing every layers of wound that you are going through today. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says, the enemy is defeated. You are the victorious one. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The enemy tried to strip many things away from you. The enemy stripped your loved ones, two of your loved ones, and also the enemy stripped your finances. But today the Lord says, I will restore everything in you in a powerful way. You are unshakable. You are going to raise a bow. And I see that the Lord is transforming your life for His glory. This is going to be the season of elevation, the Lord says. Thank you for, you came here to see an encounter. You are in the encounter, the Lord says. And you are the encounter for many in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We praise you. I see the locusts has been eating and the Lord is crushing with the fire. The Lord is burning the locusts with the fire. I see the fire of God is burning in you and all around you. Your property, your possession, your accounts. And everything is really like the enemy. Whatever the areas the enemy is trying to come. I see that the fire of God is refining everything in your life. Thank you, Jesus. There's a refinement coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. I also see that the Lord, you, you feel at times like a stab wound. The Lord is removing that stab wound away from you. The Lord says, my beloved daughter, hallelujah. I see that, I see that you are walking in a river and that river started to raise above. And the Lord says, do not afraid. This river is my river. And you will not only just in the walking level, you will not only in the waist level, you will be going into the swimming level. You are going to swim in the river of God and the glory of God. You're going to swim in the amazing sea of glass. You're going to swim in the river of God that comes from heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I see that the Lord is giving you the amazing nuggets. Golden nuggets are given to you. The Lord is going to prosper you and multiply you. He's going to flourish you. Someone here, you have a pain in your back of your head. And the Lord is healing the back pain. Someone on the left side, back of your head. The Lord's healing is coming upon you right now. All of you are listening to this. There is a divine healing that is coming upon you. 
you are going to be healed by the stripes of jesus there is one other person here you have a blood related problem the lord is really healing the blood related problem the doctors have concluded your blood has so and so and so but the lord says that you will going to you are going to get a good report you are going to get a good report in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is a miracle working power in the name of jesus there is the there is the name of jesus above all other names every cancer must bow in the name of jesus hallelujah every knee shall bow every tongue confess that jesus is lord hallelujah thank you jesus oh we praise you father we glorify your name jesus hallelujah